It's January 4th. I'm Aaron Guy with your news to go. Now over the holiday weekend, Florida reported more than 85,000 new COVID cases. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more than 45,000 new infections were reported New Year's Day. Two new deaths also confirmed with limited data. Now just under 40,000 cases were reported on Sunday. Florida's new case positivity rate also soared to 26% last week. That's up nearly 14% from the week before. Meanwhile, all employee vendors and visitors must mask up inside the Palm Beach County School District buildings as school reopens for staff today. The district is not requiring students to wear a mask when returning to class tomorrow, but they strongly encourage it. The mask mandate for Palm Beach County schools will be reevaluated in two weeks. Meanwhile, a state lawmaker proposing a bill that would prevent employers from retaliating against workers who are off work to quarantine after testing positive for COVID. Retaliation actions like firing or demotions would not be allowed if employers show proof of a positive test. The bill will be considered during the legislative session that starts next Tuesday. All right, thank you, Erin, and we are off to a beautiful, cool morning. We have temperatures in the 50s for you, and eventually working our way into the mid-70s this afternoon, partly cloudy skies. Straight shower, too, near the coast can't be rolled out, but your Tuesday is looking beautiful.